Hi, I'm Christine Orr, and I'm originally from Regina, Saskatchewan. Uh, my name is Chris Davidson, and I'm from South River, Ontario. Hi, my name is Andrea Grin, and I'm from Chatham, Ontario. Uh, my name is Minchi. I'm originally from Shanghai, China. Hi, I'm Dalila. I'm from Venezuela. Uh, my name is Kevin Ren. I'm from Toronto, Ontario. My name is Caitlin, um, and I am from Sudbury, Ontario. Hi, I'm Sonal. I am originally from India, and I've been at Queen's for the uh, last 15 years. My name is Andrew Lingard, and I'm from Niagara-on-the-Lake, Ontario. It's like solving a mystery. It's like every single case is a puzzle and I have to put all the pieces together correctly to help the patient with a proper diagnosis. I'm a visual learner, so I enjoy looking at beautiful slides with different stains every day. I feel empowered by doing pathology that I'm doing uh, both clinical work and tissue diagnosis together. Without a question, we have an incredibly uh, collegial group, both within the residents and with the staff themselves. Uh, we also have people who love to teach. So when you're doing that one-on-one -on -one sign out, you really get a lot of out of each session because each of the different staff are really invested in your learning. Teaching is frankly unparalleled. Uh, really a lot of great teachers here. Um, it's small, but everybody gets to know you. Um, everybody uh, really seems to care about your education. All the residents and staff are at one site. So we get to know all the residents really well. The program is very friendly to international medical graduates and it offers RMGs a great opportunity to explore the Canadian health system. Having been a resident not too long ago, I think the main strength is we have a very high faculty to resident ratio and therefore we get a lot of one-on-one -on -one teaching at the scope with the attending as a resident and that is extremely important in developing key diagnostic skills. Queen's uh, pathology have been ahead of the curve with respect to bringing competency-based education to, to our postgraduate program. Um, we're two years ahead of the national cohort. We don't have any fellows and that gives every single resident an opportunity to explore and have great exposure to every single case when we're in service. Because of that flexibility and that ability to do electives and that ability to do high level research and get those cream of the crop cases, they've been able to secure a really good fellowship and job positions afterwards. So if they want to learn about medical liver, medical kidney, or really complex cancer cases or unique cases, it's all for them. We have a GI research center, we have a breast research group. So having this small setting is very uh, conducive to doing research in a different, in a, in a variety of settings. Our hospital is right by the waterfront. So you can literally take your lunch break and then walk up the hospital for one minute. You'll be at Lake Ontario. And I think no other centers offers that. I'm an avid cyclist and I live right downtown and within 10 minutes I can be out on a beautiful road or trail uh, riding. There's just dozens of conservation sites with uh, forests and beaches all, all within an hour of Kingston and tons of parks to go camping. Life is easy in Kingston. I have a 10 minute walk to work. So I came to Kingston from Toronto and it's refreshing, you know, there's no traffic here. Family is very important to me. So my family and I have been living in Kingston for the past three years. So I can assure you, and Kingston is a fantastic place.